What's going on guys? Looking at the C2X today. I've had some ideas for a while. I tore this apart. Kind of experimenting with some stuff and yeah. So we've got some upgrades. Um, typically, you know on Trail Finder 2's I, you swap on the Delon 2 front shock hoops. Gives you a little bit more movement and I would like to do that on this but I have run out of Jalan 2 shock hoops. And uh, I'm not going to steal the ones off my new uh, Jalan 2 licensed body truck because I kind of like that together. So, RC four wheel drive has these. They've been out for a while. These are a new redesigned King Shock. And uh, it's a dual spring setup. And they look pretty good so I figured I'd give them a shot. These have a titanium nitride shaft. So a little bit stronger than the, uh, the old King Shocks. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give these a shot. I got a set of four. These are, where's the size? 90 millimeter should all be the same yep it says they work on the TRX4 so that be something to think about also I have my favorite Holmes Hobby Torque Master Expert 540 35 turn motor I'm gonna swap that in it's you can't go back once you've had one of these Holmes Hobby high-end motors these these stock RTR motors from RC4 drive they're, they're good out of the box if you're you know, getting into it, nothing wrong with it, but once you have the, the down low grunt that those Holmes Hobby motors have, there's no going back. So, um, if you remember way back in the beginning when we first unboxed the uh, C2X, we are worried about the front steering hanging down in the so way. So you can see the front steering arm, there's really not a better place for it. These axles are larger and everything's just kind of in the way. So RC4 wheel drives come out with this cool C2X uh, skid plate that bolts on there to help protect your steering mechanism. So we're going to install that as well. And last and my most favorite part of all, we're going to get rid of these plastic sliders that I stuck on here. These came off the terrain truck that they offered a while back. And RC4 Drive now offers these Tough Armor tube sliders. And they're just single bar. It's going to match my front bumper perfectly. Um, unfortunately, they quit making these for the Trailfinder 2. It's the plain, Jane, simple. Um, there's some other companies out there that make make them, and I am looking into that for my blue Trail Finder 2 that I'm working on. But uh, they offered them for this, so I figured I'd pick up a set, see if maybe they would work on the Trail Finder 2, which they do not. But we're going to put them on here anyway, because this is what this rig needs. Get rid of the plastic, get rid of that bulky look, and just go streamlined, single tube, just like the front bumper. Clean and simple, and hopefully very, very functional. So, I got a lot of work to do. Let's get started.
going on guys? So, finally got my C2X back together. It's been sitting disassembled for probably a month. Um, got some upgrades, got some goodies from RC4 wheel drive. The shocks, I hadn't really ever seen these. I, I've had the original King shocks before and they had a lot of uh, short fallings. <laughs> these are the, what are they called? The King Off-Road shocks. These are, say they're for the TRX4. They're 90 millimeter. And they are much more robust than a lot of things. They have a new seal design, and it has a titanium nitride shaft, which is a larger diameter than the older shocks. And I believe that carries over through all the RC four-wheel drive shocks right now. So they feel pretty good. The way the the head and everything threads in, much much improved over the old old ones. And it's been four years since I did a video on those, so technology is coming a long way. But uh, the 90 millimeter, it's the same size as the stock shocks, and they're very similar in, in a lot of ways. Like I mentioned when we unboxed this rig, these new, what are these? RRD, I don't know what exactly that is. These shocks are a vast improvement over the uh, old emulsion shocks or whatever it was that comes on all Jalan 2s. Um, they do have that larger diameter shaft. It's not a titanium nitride coated or anything, but still a good shock. The main improvement the King Shocks have a really nice larger uh, socket up top. The ends stick out a little bit. Um, it did require me to add longer hardware, but they're, they don't rattle. They're real tight in the aluminum ends of the shock, and it feels really nice. So, and uh, it saved me some spacers too. You know, I use those little shock spacers from RC Four Wheel Drive to space out things on the rat rods and stuff. So I've reused all of them. So. I didn't have to use any with those new shocks, but these will be safe because these are good. These may be an upgrade for Trailfinder 2 down the road. Um, the front skid plate. I know that was a lot of people's concern with this when it first came out was the steering arm hanging down in the way. So that, that's they had one of these for the Jalan 2 a long time ago, and this is very reminiscent of that. It does feel like it is steel, I believe. It could be aluminum. Let me find a magnet and I'll tell you. Nope, it's aluminum. It's very thick for aluminum. It feels very solid. It's got the C2X logo, some holes machined in it. Simple install. I swapped out the bolts for some scale hardware. I finally ordered some more scale hardware, so I've resupplied so I can start swapping things over on some of the new rigs. Um, what else did we change? The sliders. My favorite. I got rid of those plastic ones that came off the terrain truck. <laughs> and they just looked silly on there. This that was cool. This is a uh, very streamlined. I love the simple look. It matches my, my bumper perfectly. You know, it's got that single bar bumper with a hoop, single tube sliders, nothing fancy. Budget weekend crawler truck. Um, yeah, I the biggest change was the motor. We swapped on that Holmes Hobbies Torque Master Export Export Expert 540 35 turn motor. And I have that in two of my Trailfinder 2s now. I love that engine. For me, that is the perfect combo. In this truck, it does seem a little slower than it does on the Trailfinder 2. Um, these axles must have a different ratio. It is geared a little bit lower. But this truck, it, that, that really woke it up. That made a night and day difference. This, that engine, is, the motor we took out was a 35 turn. But those, those just standard can motors that come from RC4 drive and the ready to runs, you just can't compete with these with these home hobby motors so that that really changed the driving characteristics the the low end of the of the, the engine of the speed is just so smooth the thing just glides over and you still have that top end to punch the top end speed wasn't quite there but but we've got the crawling speed that we need and it was very very much improved and i i feel like these shocks they're a little bit different they almost feel like they're, they're a little more, they have a little more rebound. The spring rates, I don't have a clue what they are, whatever comes on them. But it is different than the spring rates that were on the stock shocks. And it feels very good. It, it I need to adjust the fronts down a little bit more. The front did seem a little stiff, but the rear was just working perfectly. And even under full throttle situations, it wasn't getting, a, it wasn't slamming the body over like that. It was staying pretty well put and uh, pretty composed so i'm really digging this rig now i'm glad i got it back together i've been sitting here looking at it as a pile of parts and it's been depressing 
Um, what's next for this thing? I really want to do some some kind of paint stuff to it. And I really hate to tear up that body because it's kind of a nice finish. But my bed doesn't match exactly and stuff like that. So I don't know. I think now we need to roll bar and we need to start adding some more weight to it. Get a little roll bar, uh, maybe a rear cage type roll bar thing. I don't know. I've seen a few C2Xs out there that folks are doing. They're doing some awesome looking stuff. Um, a friend in Colorado's got one. He rusted a fender. It's flat green. It's just a killer looking truck. So, got a lot of ideas, but um, definitely the, the engine and the shocks improved this thing quite a bit. And uh, those sliders helped a lot because I've got my one little gap that I crawl over the two big rocks and it just slid on down like it's supposed to. So, uh, anyways, I appreciate y'all watching and sticking around with the channel. Coming up on nearly seven years, I think. I don't even know anymore. Uh, I'll have to look, do some research and get back to you. But I uh, appreciate everybody watching. Appreciate my three Patreons and anybody that's ordered any merchandise. Haven't sold any in a while, but thank you to the ones that did. And uh, yeah, check this stuff out. I'll have uh, the part numbers are on the video as when I install it because I don't have the patience to sit and type out part numbers in the description. I'm sorry. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, check them out, rc4wheeldrive.com, and uh, keep the scale. See you all in the next one.